What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be talking about Bloodshot. Uh, I was deciding if I should reveal this film or not. I saw this last week, Thursday or Tuesday, I don't remember. Uh, and for some reason, because of all the craziness that's going on in New York, I just didn't have time to reveal the film. Uh, and now I'm assuming most people are not going to be able to watch it because the theaters are closed. So I don't know what's the situation where you are, but I can update you how New York is going. So basically everything here has been shut down as far as mass gatherings. So no restaurants, cinemas, uh, kind of like any sort of entertainment places like Broadway's is all closed, which is kind of like surreal for New York because this here is a city that never sleeps, you know, literally. Uh, my school has turned everything online, so my classes will be online going forward. So I don't know where you are in the country or in the world. Uh, if this hasn't happened to you, be prepared because it might. But this is not something that should make you panic because what governments are doing is trying to stop uh, the virus from spreading. Uh, it's it pretty much also trying to stop the hospitals from being flooded with people because it's just going to be, if they don't do that, it's just going to be too many people sick and they won't be able to take care of them all. And it's just, uh, things are going to get worse. So social distancing is what we are doing. And to make things worse, yesterday I decided to watch Contagion which is a movie I have seen a long time ago and it really kind of opened my eyes to how easily this virus can spread because we are constantly touching everything. We have to interact with people, we need to use our hands. Uh, so I was like, yo, this stuff is serious. Uh, so, but that's also, like I said, no need for panic, no need for crazy buying. Think of your neighbor, think of the people next to you, just buy what you need for a week or two and that's it. Uh, the problem is that a lot of healthy people that do not have symptoms are actually spreading to others. And I you know each person is different, especially the elderly, but everything is going to be fine. I think that, you know, the human spirit cannot be broken and we're always going to find stuff to entertain ourselves and things to do. But anyways, what I ask from you is that write down on the comments what movies would you like me to react to. Maybe I could do more reactions, uh, review older films, you know, I whatever I have access to, you know. Uh, also, I was wanting to do gaming, but I'm not really sure how to do that live. I kind of need to look into that because I've never done that. And I also do not own a lot of games here. I do have Mortal Kombat. I do have Need for Speed because I love car. But uh, yeah, a few games. But anyways, stay safe. Take care. Wash your hands. Think of your neighbor and don't panic. There is no problem with food supply. We still have plenty of food. The supermarkets are not closing. The pharmacies are not closing. It's basically just these mass gathering places. In New York, I don't know where you are, but here in New York, people are just, most people are not taking it serious. And this past weekend, bars, restaurants were crowded with people despite the warning. So obviously that's a way that the government needs to find a way to have people stay home. So we can actually, uh, the sooner we do that, the better, the, the faster we can get back to our regular lives. Uh, but yeah, I just was thinking I could do a lot of more reactions here, like react to whatever, even like funny videos, because I'm here to entertain. I'm here to help you, uh, you know, take your mind off of it. And well, right now I'm going to talk about Bloodshot. Uh, now, unfortunately, this movie came out at a really bad time. And not only that, this film ha did not have a very good market. Uh, you know, I don't know if Sony did not believe in the film. Like, even the trailers were dropping at weird times. I didn't really understand it because this is Vin Diesel. And despite, even if it's like uh, they don't believe it, Vin Diesel is a massive action figure. You know, so many people love him. So even like the, the Fast and Furious fan would probably want to go to support him. But anyways, if you don't know anything about Bloodshot, Bloodshot is a movie that is about a superhero. And uh, it's from, uh, it's a comic book superhero from Valiant Comics. 
And so I think what they're trying to do is launch their own franchise. But now I really know the situation because it's very unfortunate that the movie came out just now. Bad uh, marketing and not only that, it just came out and the theaters are closed, at least here in New York. Like I said, these are precautions because uh, they don't want people to be gathering in the same space, transmitting this disease. So I don't know what's going on in your location. So it, it appears that this past weekend, the movie theaters experienced the lowest uh, box office in the next 20 in the past 20 years and uh, that is just shows how much this will affect entertainment as far as like cinemas but you know Netflix uh, thank God for Netflix right or like uh, all of these streaming services and even YouTube itself but uh, definitely this is going to impact us all uh, but anyways so what did I think about Bloodshot like I said I saw it last week before everything was closed down uh, I didn't hate it. I thought there was a lot of really fun things about this film. Uh, I think that for the budget that they had, the CGI was quite good, but not all the time. Uh, but those are the kinds of films that I got exactly what I expected from the film. You know, I thought this is going to be like a lot of like action and bo 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 and like uh, it's going to be entertaining. And I think Vin Diesel is quite entertaining. I mean, I like him. It's like watching a movie with The Rock. Like it's he's always The Rock in every single film. You know, like this unstoppable beast and it, so I was trying to read you a better description but I'm just gonna tell you so the story is basically he he's a military and um, he got he gets killed and then brought back to life through nanotechnology and basically he's kind of indestructible his powers it's very similar to Wolverine because he can um, but he's not a mutant he it's all technology so it's not like superpower or anything so these nano uh, little robots that are inside his cells kind of is able to reconstruct 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 whatever wound he has so that's kind of pretty interesting uh, and not only that, uh, he all, there's some other soldiers that they all kind of had the same uh, technology, technological advance. So the movie is basically about, uh, you know, kind of the origin of uh, Bloodshot, you know, how it all started. Uh, so this film is definitely has some weak moments. You know, it's, there's a lot of things that are very predictable in an action film. There's a lot of things like uh, you're, you're kind of, you already know what's going to happen. But some of the fights were kind of fun to watch. My only complaint, my biggest complaint actually, is that uh, a lot of the big stuff in this film was reviewed on the trailers, you know. And I don't know why movies, uh, studios keep doing that. Like they kind of spoil the whole movie on the trailer itself so a lot of that is in the trailer like you already know that he died you already know he had a wife you already know that he's being revived but not only that even like key scenes and fights are already on the trailer and I did react to it so overall I don't think I think that this movie would not have done so bad if it wasn't for this whole uh, pandemic that we're all going through uh, because Vin Diesel is always like a fun actor to watch I think that people that love the Fast and Furious franchise will definitely go and support the film but now another complaint that I have is that Vin Diesel is just Vin Diesel he actually more like Toretto you know like I it, he, he didn't really change much. It's not even a bad thing because that's exactly what I expected. Uh, I also think that this movie did not really have a very strong villain. We had some sort of antagonistic characters. One of them is one of these uh, guys with technology. Quite cute, by the way. Uh, I was like, ooh, hello. <laughs> anyways, for the budget that they had, the visual effects kind of worked for me. Uh, I didn't really have problem with the story itself because I, I just got exactly what I was expecting. Uh, my biggest problem is that they revealed too much from the trailers. Uh, it was a fun time, you know, it's one, those kinds of film that it's really like turn your brain off. Just have fun, just sit down and watch, you know, uh, see, you know, some testosterone that was cool as well uh, and also part so I will read you the cast so we have Vin Diesel in this film Elsa Gonzalez uh, she's one of the leading characters kind of a badass as well Sam Hewen 
the cute guy. He's uh, he's actually a really good actor. I've seen him on Outlander, and I think he wasn't given much in this film. I wish that you know, as far as acting, uh, you know, he was one of the characters that I wanted to know more his motivations for the things that he was doing, but I didn't really get that. Uh, and we also had, hang on, I am looking over here. We also got Guy Pierce, and he is kind of like the you know. Uh, he was pretty good in the film, but uh, I just think that this film really lacked a really strong villain. Like, uh, you know, I think a villain really does the film. But, uh, great pastime. Unfortunately, I think right now, this movie can only, ha you know, survive somewhere online because uh, movie theaters are closed. So I don't know what movie theaters are going to be doing now. Would they, when they reopen, will this movies go back on, you know, cause you know, uh, kind of sad because of what happened. I don't really see this movie becoming a franchise, but you know, I think that it definitely had potential. I think people would definitely enjoy seeing more of it. I, for us, really like Vin Diesel. He's, he's very fun. Uh, but this is definitely those kind of like uh, dumb, fun action film. Just turn your brain off and see guys hitting each other and like badass fightings. Uh, not really, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and uh, well, that's pretty much it without spoiling there. I could go into more details about spoiling, but eventually this movie will be available and eventually people are gonna watch it. But that is it guys for, guys, for this video. Uh, like I said, drop your comments below. Let me know what are you thinking? What would you like to see me doing or revealing this film? I know now there won't be new films, so we're I'm probably gonna be trying to cover as much as I can as far as uh, entertainment related news uh, but yes we are all gonna get through this together the whole world is going through this try to do your best wash your hands stay safe and stay home for the time being because it's the best that we can do to help stopping this and uh, thanks for watching see you next time bye